Hey guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a small chalkboard name sign. Um, so to begin, I have a little chalkboard here. This is um, pretty small and I, when I bought it, it was a pack and I believe there were five or six of these in a set. I will include a link in the description below that shows where you can purchase one similar, as well as uh, these little die cut stickers. And we actually are going to use them kind of as more of like a cardstock piece. So we're not gonna peel off the sticky back, but we're going to glue them on as um, decorative accents onto the chalkboard. So to begin, I want to start with putting a quote, name, whatever it is that you want on the chalkboard. You wanna do that first because once you glue these pieces on, it's going to be hard to kind of work around that. Um, I am going to do one of my daughter's names on here, Vivian. So you can, um, if you wanted to print this, if you have a, access to a Cricut, and you wanted to print out vinyl, you could certainly do that. If you want to freehand it, you can. It's completely up to you. So we're gonna go kind of simple here. And I'm using a chalk marker and I'm just tapping it to get the chalk paint to come to the surface so I can kind of go over it a little bit. Just trying to space this out the best I can. And I'm just going to go over anything I see that might not be quite as um, bold or any areas that look like they might not be standing out as much as others. So. this a little bit more right here and you could certainly make parts of your letter thicker so if you want um, like the left side of the letters thicker than the right side or whatever you could do that for the tutorial I'll keep it kind of simple I'm gonna make sure these little dots are the same size though Okay, so now we've got her name on there. It is slightly off center, which that's okay because when we put the flower, when we put the flower um, cardstock on, it will, there we go, uh, it will uh, kind of balance it out. So. Head off to the side, I'm gonna open these up. And you can do this with Elmer's glue or you could use a hot glue gun if you wanted. So this pack comes with these little wreaths and it also comes with the flowers. I'm gonna use the flowers. And there is a sticky back to it if you wanna peel it off. Like I said, I'm gonna keep that on. I'm gonna shoot for doing maybe one of each. There's three different types of flowers. So I'm gonna move those out of the way. And I'm gonna kind of position them where I want on here. Another thing that you could do is you could paint or stain the wood frame before you begin doing this. And if you wanted to do that, I would suggest making sure that you tape off the chalkboard before. So I am going to figure out how I want these laid out. 
kind of trying to decide what I think is the upside here. So we could do that, or we could do it like this. We could also do, you know, if you wanted to add one more, you could. We could just do the two and maybe one more here. I kind of like that. I think I might do that. Kind of pile these two up and then the one there. So now all we have to do is glue it on. And like I said, you could use Elmer's glue or a hot glue gun. I am going to use the Elmer's glue because it's pretty simple to use. I'm gonna squirt some on here once I open the bottle. Just like that. And then I'm going to glue these down as well. They also have these um, little cardstock stickers available in different themes. So they're animals and sports. So, you know, if you have a, a kid who likes dinosaurs or basketball or, or giraffes or whatever, you could buy them and write their name in it. And instead of putting flowers, you could do um, one of those animals instead, which would be really cute. Okay. Um, so that is pretty much it. And um, a few more things, if you wanted to embellish it a little bit more, um, you could remove this twine and take a new piece of twine and attach it and put some wood beads on it. That would be really cute if you wanted the strand to look like that. Again, if you wanted to stain it, you could. If you want to put a quote on here, um, Anything like that you could certainly do to make it a little more embellished, but I just wanted to keep it kind of simple, show you how easy it could be to do if you wanted. Um, again, I will include links in the description below where you can purchase these supplies. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and as always, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys.